That's what I'm talking about right here. Playing Game Pass on my LG Wing. Now, the reason why I'm starting this video playing this game is because I've seen a lot of people out there, you know, uh, saying that uh, you cannot play Game Pass on LG devices. And you know what? Fake news. Also, I hear people out there saying that uh, you can't play games on uh, the 765G processor because the processor is too weak. Also, fake news. Uh, I, I see a lot of people bashing LG uh, devices for a lot of different things. Performance and LG is, is, is this and LG is that. And I'm calling it all fake news. What's up everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. I've been using LG phones for years and every time I turn on the internet, every time I look at a vlog, every time I see people in comments and even in my comments, a lot of people say LG phones are junk, uh, the UI is trash, uh, you cannot play no games on LG devices, the cameras is trash and just like, you know, everything in between. And I all call it fake news and the reason why is because those people that uh, probably bash LG devices is people that probably never had an LG phone or if they did have an LG phone, they probably had LG phones way back about 20 years ago uh, when LG phones was not that great. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss LG and, and their devices and we're gonna talk about performance. Uh, so sit back and relax, get your popcorn ready. I'm gonna play some games with my LG Wing and follow me on this journey. Let's go. Yeah. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So as you can see, I am actually playing uh, Game Pass right now on my LG Wing. Now a lot of people say that this is impossible easy. The phone that has a 765 is not a flagship. It cannot play no games. Again, fake news. Well, let me show you guys. Actually, I got the, uh, the Xbox joystick connected to my uh, LG Wing, uh, and I downloaded Game Pass, which I have a subscription with on my Galaxy devices, and it's the same thing. Only thing you gotta do is just download Game Pass. The first thing that I saw in a lot of comments of mine and a lot of comments is that you can't play games. You can't play Game Pass on the LG device. Again, fake news. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna get out of it. There it is, right? This is Game Pass, all right? And so these are all the games I've been playing. Uh, you know, Mortal Kombat uh, F10, Gears 5, Batman, Halo 5 and a lot of other games. Um, and on the LG Wing, it plays very well. Also, uh, games like Call of Duty, uh, Mobile, uh, you know, uh, Modern Combat 5, all these high-end intensive games play without a hitch on the LG Wing. Yeah, 765 processor. Oh my God, you can't play games on the 765 processor. You need to have the 865 plus and 30 gigs of RAM to play games. Listen, man, start with the fake news. You can play games on 765 processors at medium to high settings, and you can have a very good experience. Um, I've played games uh, a lot on my LG devices, and I have no, no issues. Okay, so in 2020, even though we're in 2021, listen, Happy New Year to everybody. But in 2020, let's get the fake news out of the way. LG gave you a device for everything, right? If you wanted innovation, okay, here we go, LG Wing, right? So the LG Wing is your innovative device. This is a flagship true and true. Forget what you think about 765, eight gigs of RAM and stuff like that. This is a flagship true and true, without a doubt. All right, so a lot of people say we're easy, but I do want a flagship, so-called flagship with the 865 and all that good stuff. Okay, cool, there you go. LG V60, 865 processor, this is your flagship, right? This is the LG's flagship, but easy, just a plain old slab. LG didn't bring anything to the table. 
they got the dude display. So LG then came back and said, okay, cool. We're gonna give you a dude display with your LG device. So now you got a dude display, great functionality with an LG device. Well, easy, it's not like a Galaxy. Well, LG bought it even further. LG bought pin support on all LG devices in 2020. So not only do you have do displays, innovation, but now you got pin support on LG devices. So now the Stylo software that uh, you know and love from the Stylo devices has been ported over to LG. Bamboo ink pen, you got clicky buttons that's programmable. Now you have full pin support on LG devices. So, okay, now we have innovation. Now we have Galaxy Note type features. Do we have do displays, right? Even on the velvet. So now we got do displays on two devices, right? So we have innovation. We got do displays. We got pin support. Guess what? We have headphone jacks on both devices, right? The LG velvet. So here we go. We have headphone jacks on LG devices. So we got innovation, pin support, do displays, flagship specs, headphone jacks. Guess what? We got awesome cameras. Now, one of the things that uh, LG brought to the table with the LG Wing is a gimbal that's unreal. I love this gimbal on here. Uh, and I made a video about it going against the Galaxy Note. I think the gimbal uh, feature on here is A1. I love it. It works very well. So I get frustrated when I read comments on LG videos that I make. Uh, the people saying that, you know, LG doesn't innovate. Uh, LG phones are trash. Uh, LG phones is this and LG phones is that. Those are the people that did not have an LG device in 2020. They probably never had an LG device in 2019. A lot of people didn't have LG devices in probably a decade, right? Now, don't get me wrong, going all the way back to like the LG G4, right? Boot loop, right? And I still get those comments in 2020. Well, now we in 2021, but I used to get those comments in 2020 of boot loop issues on 2020 devices. When we talk about the LG G4, we had that, those issues. And now five, six years later, people is still harping on those type of things. Listen, man, stop with the fake news. LG devices are very good. The only issue the only problem with LG devices, and it's one major issue, is marketing, pure marketing. Everything else about LG devices is pure beauty and great. Think about it. You want innovation? They gave it to you, the LG Wing, right? The most innovative product of 2020 is the LG Wing, right? Now, when you talk about headphone jacks, they gave it to you in their flagship, the LG V60. You got a quad deck, headphone jack, awesome cameras pro mode is unreal on this device right you get a beautiful uh display you get fast performance you get all kinds of good things with the lg v60 do display support pin support do speakers quad dac everything in between with the lg v60 for under 1000 bucks they got one poison pill and it's all marketing. It's nothing to do with the devices itself. Now let's talk about updates. A lot of people always talk about, okay, easy. You saying that the, the LG devices are great, but what about updates? Listen, I would agree with you. LG should be on uh, Android 11 right now with these devices. We still on Android 10. All right, so when it comes down to updates, I would agree with you guys and say that, hey, LG need to speed up the process to make sure that their devices stay up to date. People talk about LG phones as trash. Why? Well, easy. I don't like uh, the LG skin on top of Android. Well, guess what? This is Android, people. Put a launcher on your device. Use a Pixel launcher or a Nova launcher or anything. Listen, before I... Before... Before... Uh, One UI, 
2.5, all right, on Samsung devices. I always change the launcher because I did not like Samsung experience. I didn't like touch whiz. So I always put a launcher on my device. So if you don't like the launcher that's on your current device, that's no excuses. All you have to do is download a launcher and put it on your device. You won't get hit with performance. You won't get hit with battery life. You will get a very good experience using the third party launcher on your device. This is Android, cut out the fake news. Also, I don't care how much money they make and how many phones they sell. That's another thing people always hit me in the comments. Well, LG don't sell that many phones. How do you know they don't sell any phones? They say that people go on the internet, it's fake news. How do you know LG don't sell phones? Just because you heard somebody say they don't sell phones? To me, listen, I don't care if they don't sell phones. I review the product for what it is. I care, I care less if they don't sell phones. So you file, so so it since they don't sell as many phones as Apple, you're gonna say, well, I'm gonna jump on the Apple gravy train. It's because they sell tens of millions of phones and LG sell one million, two million, three million. I don't care. It's all about the product. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the LG and all this fake news. LG's good, man. I'm out. See you guys on the next video. Peace.